What you have on your neck is against God. Watch this read. Exodus 20 and 3. Exodus chapter 20 verse 3. And you never before and come home. You hear that? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. The Bible says the Son of God is a black man. You have a depiction of the Son of God as a white man on your neck. That's not biblical. Hold on, sister. Come back. Sister, come here, come here. You understand? You understand? Huh? Yeah, what they got to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, you should keep that. He's saying that uh, he feels like it's nice. That's why he bought it. Just like when you buy a watch because it's nice or you read the food because it's nice. So, the, hey, listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen. No, listen, listen, listen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Your watch and your sunglasses don't have a false image of Jesus Christ on it. That, what you have is a false image of Jesus Christ. Right? The shades don't have that. I say, I was best never watch now when I see your friend. And 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 throw Jesus Christ in front of him abosu. Where I am throw I am not down on the abosu. Where the Antichrist no. It is a chain. I your friend. I don't come. I say, I turn on my chain. And that's it. I am and throw I am not down. Where I am going for abosu. And throw some abosu. Listen. Exodus chapter twenty verse four. And you are only Biara. And I dear who you must throw. And I dear who as I see so from. And I dear who is you must as I see Biara Emperor. I go to one. Now I see one. Hey, listen. The Bible says you should have no graven image. That image that you have is a graven image. It's not the true depiction of Christ. You understand? And by you having on your neck, that's called idolatry. Watch this, Hebeke 2.18. What you've been uh, what you've been taught here is lies. You gotta ask, let me ask you a question. Same thing. This symbol right here, that's the menorah, that's in the Bible. What we just read in the seven golden candlesticks. But we don't worship this symbol. It's not an idol. What you have on is an idol. You have a white image of Jesus Christ on your neck. And that's not the biblical depiction of Christ. That's what we're trying to show you too. So the actually right now, I don't have our Bible symbol in our Bible. But yeah, yeah, some no. But when I talk, I I don't want to say I am a Christian. But I know I am a Christian. He said he doesn't worship it. You no, know, you worship because you wear it. That means you represent it. If you wear something, that means you believe it and you represent it. Listen, listen, listen. Is your mother white? Is your mother black? I saw mommy and the cartoon too. Your mama black. So would you wear a white picture of your mother? Oh, but sir, on the picture, you're white. Oh, ah, uh, your mommy white. I said, bro, me ever too cool. No, no, he's going into a different thing. He's asking who makes our clothes. No, 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 no. Stay with the topic. Is your mother black? I said, oh, mommy, you too. One topic. Yeah, yeah, you can't stand back one time. I said, fuck off. Oh, mommy, you too. And to, oh, my, yeah, oh, mommy, said, bro, me not on your too cool, man. Oh, 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 okay. So if you wouldn't do that for your mother, why do that for Jesus? So I said, oh mommy, they are only sir and mana. I don't see that yes you Christian, the Bible is right to but bro, you know too cool. Is not Jesus greater than your mother, my mother, and all of us? Yes, on some point and tell mommy, on some point and tell your own mommy. And this is only sir and for mama. I don't know yes, you're only sir. Watch this, now watch this. Read that for me, Habakkuk. Habakkuk, I want Habakkuk. Listen, listen, real close. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 18. Listen, mama. So what so The Bible says that the graven image is a teacher of lies. Mama, mama, what color is Jesus Christ? What's she saying? I say, uh, he, he, she said she's been told that she's black right now, but she doesn't know, so if you will help her to understand it. Okay, excellent. So, what he has on his neck, what he has on his neck right here, that's a white image of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that's a teacher of lies. Jesus Christ is not Ebruni. Jesus Christ is not white. Jesus Christ was born in Africa. Jesus Christ was born in Africa. So how could a white man be born in Africa and be an originator of the land? It makes no sense. These are the lies they taught us in church. Ibruni, 
The British taught us these lies. Jesus Christ, a black man, according to the Bible. Give me Revelation again. Give me Revelation 114 again. Revelation 114, come on. Listen. Listen again. Listen again. Listen again. Listen again. Revelation 1 verse 14. Nanny 3. Any new horse out that doing you the Bible says his head and the hairs on his face were white like wool. White like wool. Bible says yes, Christo. And you are only two, so any year one any more. And you fit out to say, yeah, yeah, before. You're two, you know, at the sort of dry out, and you know, one chihuahua. I'm possible in the two new elbow and chihuahua. And his eyes, and his eyes, listen, listen, brother, brother, brother. So it says his head and his hair are white like wool. Afro, African hair, not silk, not smooth silk hair like British. Read. That's 14. Then I need to say what you're from. Then I need to say you're over far. I don't know if you know. Go ahead. Proverbs 1, verse 15. Then I need to say you're over far. I don't fool you. So his feet, his feet, like your feet. Jesus. His his he said Jesus. Jesus. His feet were like fine brass. Jesus. Jesus, his feet like brass, brass, brown, brown. Jesus Christ's feet were brown as if they burned in fire. And he said, yeah, kind of. Bible ni miati asia se Yesu Kristo ocha ni naone ni sawa. Ati se ya yote ni haya onye ni pakoko onye we we entro a kosi bwani duma ya ebra odi ya kwa unkwa sumu Yesu Kristo ati se ya yote ni haya. So Yesu was a what black man? Black man. He was a black man. Now, why do the British come? Mama, mama, listen. Why do the British? come to Ghana and colonize. Why do they take your cocoa? Why do they take your bauxite? Why do they take your gold? Why do they come here and take everything from you? Why? 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 You're rich. You're supposed to be rich. You're supposed to have gold. They say that they, they take it from us because we are poor. So they brought little money and they take everything away. But you're not supposed to be poor because you have gold in your land. If you say you say you gold, you be poor. So can I show you in the Bible why it happened? Because you, 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 you're not Ghanaian. You're the Israelites. The Israelites are God's chosen people, the 12 tribes of Israel. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon. Those are the children of God. That's, right. That's who you are. Come on. Say, say, say. So, yeah, yeah, the Bible, and the proud Bible, yeah, yeah, Israel, for now, Bible, the Ekan wants to know. Yeah, 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 I say, yes, for, yeah, yeah, I'm a man who for, yeah, yeah, Israel, and the Bible, the Ekan wants to know. Israel, for you, you're going to be for two, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Deuteronomy 28. Listen, listen. Deuteronomy 28. Mama, mama, listen. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Now, so, mama, sir. So, what do you know about me? So, I'm going to be a man, so I'm going to be a man, so I'm going to so Moses told the Israelites, if we didn't keep God's commandments, curses will come on us. We will become cursed. Verse 32. So, the Bible says our sons and our daughters will be given to another people, sold to another race of people. Ask them if that happened to our people. 
That happened to, that happened to our people, right? The Bible said that would happen to the Israelites. So they took my ancestors to America. But I'm originally from here. But I said no free Ankasa. You see that? We brothers. But they took us on ships. They took us away on slave ships. Right? Deuteronomy 2868. Now So he said, the Lord will send us into Egypt again with ships. With ships. With ships. This time we will go into slavery on ships. Go ahead. It is the Bible on the canoe. Yanko Pansa, the Abba Kampa, Sumubu, a Bible from the Batachi and Anamodia, condemn the Gui acquire. Sip, and then you read your Bible in Yanko America, Yanko Jamaica, Yanko Haiti, Abudia Gusipu, and in the Abakasa. So Ghana, Ghana here, right? Ghana here. Took us from Ghana, brought us to America, brought us to the Caribbean islands, Cuba, Haiti. Puerto Rico, Jamaica, so on and so forth. So they brought us to America. They brought us to Ghana. They brought us to Haiti. They brought us to Jamaica. They brought us to Cuba. They brought us to Haiti. They brought us to Cuba. They brought us to it's okay. That's it. All right. So it said we will be sold as slaves shall be sold, 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 cash, Negro men, women, and children. You see this? They sold us. So now I'm going to show you. You understand? We the Israelites. Ghanaian is the name that we gave ourselves, right? It's the name that we call ourselves. But the Bible calls us the Israelites. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.